to part two of our vintage series and today my friend Sue is going to introduce us to her car Maybelline and teach you how to be the perfect 50s vintage dame. So today what we're going to do is spend some time with Sue and her car Maybelline. How long have you had Maybelline for? I have had Maybelline for about 10 years now, Lou. And what year is she? She's from 1962. So 62 makes her an EK? That's correct. And is she all original? She is pretty much all original. She's had another coat of paint. The interior's been sprayed. I've fitted some seat belts and a FM radio. But under the bonnet, it's all original. She's been lowered a teensy little bit. Just to give her that cool factor. Absolutely. You know, personally, I think the OK set a little bit high. There was a bit much gap above the wheel arch. I just like the way Maybelline sits. OK, so what we're going to do with Sue today is she's going to teach us how to be the perfect 50s vintage... I was going to say babe. <laughs> vintage dame. <laughs> I maybe I should change my name. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be the perfect 50s vintage dame and babes if we want to be. And we're going to see her top 10 tips for having a 1960s car. So come along and join us. My first tip is not only a safety tip, but also preserving your vintage wardrobe tip. I always take a pair of ballet flats to change into when I'm driving the car. Not only does it, is it for safety value for not getting your heels caught up under the pedals or slipping off the pedals, also you don't really want to damage the vintage heels or loosen the heels when you're driving. My number two tip is this wonderful F1 waterless car wash. Don't have to get wet, don't have to soak your nails, don't have to get your dress wet. What we do is we spray on a little bit of this onto our car. Soft terry log cock, wait for it to dry a little bit. Polish it up. Fantastic. Do the whole car really quickly. You know, you're right to go for the car show and the guys will never know you haven't really washed and polished it. My number three tip is this wonderful substance called Autosol Metal Polish. It's really good for polishing up the chrome. We just need to squirt a little bit onto the rag here. Um, polish it up. And my goodness, this comes up so clean and shiny with minimal effort. Bonus is all your vintage plastics. Bakelite, Lucite bangles, Bakelite. Canisters, you loose out handbags, polish it up with a little bit of this auto salt, and it's good as new. It's amazing. What a great tip! I know, it's such a great discovery. I'm so glad the guys told me about this stuff. Because they do all of their handbags, don't they? Exactly, <laughs> that's right. My number four tip is not to polish up your bench seats too much. It's um it's so tempting to polish up, get a lovely sheen on your vinyl seats, but it's a bit slippery. And when you go around the corners, you end up moving up and down the seat. In fact, one of the old guys at the car club mentioned to me that in the days before seat belts, the guys used to do this on purpose. They'd polish the seats up when they had a date with the girl, do a quick right-hand turn, and she'd slide across <laughs> the seat and squash right up against him. It was their big thrill of the evening. Oh, <laughs> a little secret cuddle. That's right. <laughs> Oh, that should be a separate video all on its own. <laughs> My number five tip is get seat belts fitted to your car. Even though vintage cars, if they were manufactured without seat belts, you're not required to have them. I think safety wins over authenticity every single time. I've had these lovely red seat belts fitted. They've got the retractable. Um, component of them so they're easy to look after and I feel much safer driving. My number six tip is invest in one of these crook locks. The old cars are very easy to break into and there seems to be a bit of a spate of thefts at the moment. So one of these on, it's easy. People can see you've got a lock. They can't steal, steal a car that easily. They can't steer it if they do break into it. I think it just gives everyone a bit more peace of mind. Tip number seven is really important. I've been caught out so many times with this. I've had an extra radio fitted to play FM stations and CDs. Don't forget to turn it off. There's no central ignition switch, so if you forget to turn your radio off, come back, your battery's flat. Do you still have the original valve radio? 
no, I don't. That's, that's been removed, and we've got the speakers for the FM radio. And the so you've radio. only got that new radio. We have indeed. So a very important tip, because we've all been caught out with that one. Absolutely, and it's not good at the late at night when you come back to your car and battery's dead. <laughs> My next tip is make sure you join your local car club for whatever model of car you have. Um, I've joined the FBEK Holden Club Car Club of New South Wales. It is just invaluable for advice, sourcing spare parts. The guys are really lovely. I felt a bit intimidated. I thought I may not have the amount of mechanical knowledge that they do. But they share a passion and anyone that shares their passion is family to them. They would do anything to help you and help your car. Are you the only girl? No, there's uh, probably about 80% men and 20% women in the club, so there's quite a few uh, women in the club, and there's also quite a few men that have no mechanical knowledge at all. They just bought the car as an investment or because they like the lines or whatever. So, yeah, there's a big variety of people, and it's a really enjoyable family atmosphere. My next tip is actually very important. Old cars don't have the same kind of sealed cooling systems that modern cars do, so... Uh, a lot of moisture is lost through evaporation, through leakage, old seals, what have you. So before you leave, always check the level of your radiator, and if need be, top it up with a little bit of coolant. And I always keep a bottle of this in the boot of my car, in case I'm on a long trip and something happens, I need a bit of a top up to get home. You could also keep a bottle of water in the boot of the car for emergencies. Coolant is better because it uh, prevents rusting of the radiator. But in an emergency, top it up with a bit of water. And Sue, what's your final 50s vintage dame tip for us today? My last tip is always travel with your Galmatic handbook. I keep mine in the glove box. It's full of handy tips and it's got a really important section at the end of if you're accidentally caught, you know, have an accident, um, the details you need to take, the information you need to make a note of. Because at the time, you get really flustered and you don't know what to do. I think it's invaluable. Perfect. Thank you so much for spending the day with us and letting us spend the day with Maybelline. Thanks for watching our video. Why not cruise on over to our website, galmatic.com. We've rolled up the garage door and we've got an oil rag ready for you. Car care doesn't have to be boring and you can have a lot of fun while saving money and feeling safe and confident behind the wheel. My name's Eleni from Galmatic and welcome to our garage. Real jobs. <laughs> we do have real jobs. <laughs> We're real women with real jobs. I think we need you to do the Rosie the Riveter now. <laughs> hey, I'm the vin 50s vintage day. I can't even say it right myself. Anyway. 50s vintage day. <laughs>